Hi guys! Hi I'm Rama! I'm Us! Come on you! And we're here in our studio the the I don't know what day, but we're moving in! We're moving in! Na siya, guys. Naalala niyo ba kung anong itsuna nito before? Yeah. Kailangan yata natin iulit yung ating pag-ikot at maan. Ready? <laughs> Total, naka-dress din naman ako ngayon. So, yun. We've moved in and we're tackling the space one section at a time. Priority natin is our web shop. We'll be able to list more products. That's why... We need a space to display the items so we can list them faster and better so our shoppers can shop safely online. So we're calling this space Common Room Bodega. Ito yung signage sa uh, ano, Common Room Katipunan. And it's now here. It finds its space, its place here in the attic. So we're going to somehow uh, give you a work in progress tour. Or explain why we lay out our shelves the way we lay them out in common room stores. So guys, hindi lang ito yung na-move in namin ha. Na-move in na rin namin yung mga stocks. Nasa baba pa sila. Medyo chaotic pa yung, chaotic pa. yung first floor. So ito pa yung medyo decent na i-share sa inyo ngayon. Medyo bare pa sila. This is the first floor. Naiwan kami dito dahil nagahakot pa sila kuya sa kabila. Nandito na sa baba most of the stuff. And dito nagpapak ng orders. Yun lang. Update. Meron na kami kwarto ulit. Mucho warehouse ng corn room stocks. Na-reclaim na namin ang aming bedroom. Ang <laughs> kupo mo ngayon sa kwarto. But we've moved in. The space is painted white already. Hindi na siya yellow. So, ang um, una natin gagawin is to lay out, of course, the shelf so it's easier to display the items. So, what if we don't cover the, the windows? What if the windows are really open? So, ito, pag entrance pa lang, pwede tayo maglagay ng 10. Let's just make this as the space for the items. So, let's make it free since papasok dyan yung pasok. So, most likely, andyan yung mga signage natin. Okay, what day? <laughs> I think it's First the day. fourth day of fixing the space. Most of the shelves are here. Tomorrow, we'll lay out. Wala pa naman. Wala pa. The shelves are still on the floor. Yeah. But you can imagine. And pagpasensya nyo na yung mga chipanga shield na kami. Come on in. We'll show you our bare shelves. <laughs> Our shelves, our shelves. Just the way we like it. Industrial and raw. Ito yun, guys. Kung ano yung shelves natin sa Katipunan, we reused it here. So, as you can see, may lamat-lamat pa siya, guys. Yung history ng Katipunan, andito pa, guys. Yung mga kalat, ng kat ah, ay, nandito pa yung mga alikabok ng Katipunan. Nandito pa siya, guys. So, you can feel the presence of Katipunan here, guys. The shelves were actually custom-built for the space because we really wanted to maximize yung how we will lay out the attic because we have a partners and daming products. So we have to be efficient also with like how we display them. Counting explanation on how we display our shelves in common room stores. Yeah. We're a community of small makers, right? A space really costs a lot. So we really need to maximize every part of the space. One tip, if you're laying out your space, you lay it out based on your purpose. Ano bang purpose mo when you are moving into a certain space? Yun yung iikot kung paano mo ili-lay out yung space. For us, it's really important that we bring in as many partners as possible. So our purpose is efficiency. 
and makikita nyo parang wala siyang masyadong decoration as in talagang we just lay out the space because another purpose of common room stores is to showcase the products of our local makers. So if we want them to be highlighted in the space, we don't want the space to be too busy na ma-distract sila sa products. So mas gusto namin yung pinaka-product mismo nung makers natin, yung sinicelebrate nung space. So, sobrang simple lang niya, di ba guys? But can you already imagine how it would look like if andito na yung mga products ng makers natin? No, bodega lang po siya guys. So, excited na excited na talaga kami. Actually, over the years, itong sistema ng pag-display na to, ilang beses na kami nagka-trial and error dyan. From bazaar days pa lang, ang dami ng permutations on like, what's the best way to display products. So, gumawa na, naka ilang iterations na kami ng shelving na nafo-fold, tapos nakakarga, sobrang kakapal, na sobrang bibigat. So, over the years, medyo na-perfect namin little by little, like, what's the best display talaga for the purpose of displaying the products that we have. So, okay, so guys, hindi pa tapos lahat, ah. Pero as you can see, even the walls, we like to utilize them all so that we can, kaysa naman wall siya, may, might as well become a home for a maker, right? So, dito, Empty pa siya right now, but this will be a space for our bookshelves. So this one, magkakahilera din tayo ng mga shelves. So, Wala yung mga i-install, ayan no? I-DIY din namin to. Yung pangarap na minimalist, hindi talaga namin siya kaya right now. Hanggang pangarap pa lang siya. Yung mga siya. Scandinavian, mga ganyan. Pangarap lang ano? namin siya guys, pero dahil napakamahal po ng space ngayon, we want to maximize it because, again, our purpose is to bring in as many makers as we can in one space. I'm so excited! Okay, so ito, imagine nyo na lang, more shelves will be installed here. The way na nilayout din namin siya, very similar sa shops. So kung sila Kuya, Romel, kukuha ng items, it's very easy for them to go around. Iikot sila, punta sila sa another row, Diba? All the products are very visible, can be easily seen, and madaling pitasin pitasin from the shelves. Looking ahead also, guys, um, when we were laying out the space, we were already imagining that in the future, it can be a showroom for our makers. So, ibig sabihin, we'll be accepting visitors. Ngayon pa lang, iniisip namin, what would be a layout that would maximize the space but will still have a nice flow for the customer? So right now, palang niisip namin, hindi pwedeng basta bodega lang. Let's make it into something that will really look like a store because again, in the future, we really want to bring people in, in this space. When you're laying out the space, isipin nyo rin, what's your purpose, short term, long term? Para siguro hindi din madoble yung gastos nyo when you're designing your space. Okay, in this space naman, dito mapupunta yung mga cards natin. Kasi a lot of our makers, a lot of our small brands, they start out with a line of their own stationary products. So they have stickers, they have pins. And then over the years, we realized na the best way to showcase their small items are not through shelves, but through these beautiful pegboards. Yes. <laughs> so naalala nyo, di ba, a few episodes ago, Nag-drilling kami. Ito na yun. Ididrill na namin siya. <laughs> Joke lang. Hindi mo kami mag-drill. Sorry, Kuya Buday. No. So, there. We're so excited to put all of the items here. But for now, we're just laying it out. So, as you can see, meron pa kami mga uninstalled shelves. Mga ginamit rin namin siya sa mga past pop-ups namin. Um, we're going to finish this place first. And then hopefully, you're going to see how it will look like when they're all laid out already. And ang kulang na lang is the products of our makers. This will be the lanai, right? So, they'll have a standing lamp here. They'll have a pegboard here. This will be the shelves. This is where we'll put the neon light. This is where the packing will be because the stock room is here so it's going to be easier. Our problem is, as you can see, the space doesn't really have much natural light. 
Oh, that's so sad. The entire house is surrounded by trees. And then look at those small windows. <laughs> Eventually, hopefully, we'll be able to change them into glass windows. But for now, because of budgetary constraints and, you know, pandemic concerns, we'll try to limit our expenses so long as it's a functional space and that's okay already so there so this is our makeshift web packing area for now for now initially nung nakita natin parang ganda niya lanay area so we were thinking maybe parang lounge meeting space but yun nga again going back to the purpose since our Inventory or stockroom is just beside this. It seems very logical that this would be like the packing center, the workspace, primarily for web orders. So, as you can see, we made sure that my barricade is a table. On top of purpose, on top of function, talagang inisipre natin yung safety. Mm -mm. And then we made sure also na the table is wide enough for them. Simple lang din, wala masyadong etchebureche kasi we're imagining them na maraming kalat. They'll need big space talaga to pack orders and stuff. Efficient din siya in terms of like workflow nila. So nandito naman tayo ngayon sa bodega. And now as you can see, the shelves are installed. Ang inaantay na lang ay yung items. Uh, yes. If you're DIYing it mm -hmm. also, parang you're DIYing it because of course you want to enjoy the process, diba? So if it will cause you a lot of stress, then best to tackle one area at a time so it doesn't take the joy out of the entire experience. Designing process. You want to make an impression sa mga papasok in any space, right? So it's important that yung una nila makita is either something that's really the accent of the entire space. Mm -hmm. So initially, this was where you put the aircon, mm -hmm. but we don't want the man na pagpasok ng shopper. Ang unang una nila makikita is aircon. aircon. I think the space is too important to be just a wall with an aircon. That's why we close it up and put the sign so that when you enter, yeah. Ito yung una mo makikita, like, it draws you in talaga. So, pagpasok na pagpasok mo, your eye line just goes straight to the sign. Actually, just welcomes you in. On the fly, pinalitan namin yung mga shelves. Yung mga shelves na nandun sa kabila, the taller ones, nandito sila. But, pagpasok mo, if they're too tall, so, matatakpan yung pegboard. So, sayang naman siya. So we made a decision on the spot while we were seeing the layout that the shorter shelves actually work here better because it won't block naman the pegboard, which is actually one of the highlights of the room also because it's going to be colorful, maraming mga trinkets. So sayang naman na pagpasok mo, natakpan siya ng mga shelves, di ba? So, so it's something that while you have like your initial plan as you see the space you'll be able to gauge also what are the adjustments you can do on the spot actually my next steps dito aside from the the products is again siguro pinaka ano na would be the light yung yes. next oo kasi syempre kahit gaano pa ganda ng mga products if hindi naman siya nakikita because it's not properly lit or hindi bagay yung ilaw, masyari siyang daylight, tapos mas maganda, warm light, parang gano'n. So we're going up and we're going to, we're trying to decide what to do with our light situation. Medyo problematic siya for us kasi it's the first time that we'll have to decorate or design around these beams. I think the beams are already a statement in a way. So, parang to put more elements to it might make it too busy already. That beam problem is also inside the stock room. I don't think we can have to do much para here. Because this one's going to be the light box naman. So that's a statement in itself. 
and then we have the beams, we have the items. The um, reason why it's not so simple lang ng layout ng common room is again the highlight or the products. So I'm sure later in the next episodes of making our studio, you'll see how the items of our makers would really transform a space. We really don't need to do much. Exciting but also scary because imagine how many items are going to be added. Usually when we do ingress, because we have partners. Now we need to make all of them. Yeah, so... Because, you know, safety first. So we are going to dismay all of this. So watch out for that episode because we're going to share some tips on visual merchandising. Okay, thank you guys again for joining us today. So excited sharing this process with you. Sana na excited din kayo as much as na excited kami. Hindi ka excited. Pagod ako. That's it. So please, um, join us again in our next episode and you know, like, like, subscribe. Ah uh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> lag na, lag na na babaf ni. Like, like, subscribe, and comment, um, join our community on YouTube, on Instagram, join us also on Patreon. So there we have to go. We're super tired but super happy and Dinner time. satisfied. Dinner time. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Thank you.